good morning guys and welcome to a new day of vlogs so vlogging today obviously it is eight o'clock in the morning and we ran out of nespresso pods so this morning we're going out to breakfast to atlanta bread company which is like a panera bread in california if you guys are from california so panera. hopefully it's good i am starving annabelle got a blueberry cream muffin with her water <laughs> and for coffee, I got an iced coffee. And you guys, I'm trying not to drink any like cream or sugar, like rather just milk. And it tastes so good. Turkey and egg and cheese a sandwich. And Doug got some sort of a bagel with sausage. Mm -mm. And we split and split because we are fatties and like to try everything. Of course, she ends up wanting my sandwich. Hey guys, so it's a lot later. I don't even remember why I changed, but Annabelle took her nap and we're having lunch. Also, I went crazy two days ago and made the most epic chocolate cake ever. I will link the recipe below. I know I'm so terrible linking, but it's the Martha Stewart's recipe and it's called like ultimate chocolate cake and like ultimate chocolate frosting. Hands down, best chocolate cake I've ever had. Like better than any kind of like restaurant cake or anything you could buy. So good. So in my last, I think, what I ate in a day, I showed you what we make for our like sandwiches. Well, now we got the panini maker, like I mentioned, and we're on like a panini kick. This is the best panini maker. I linked it in my last blog post. It's like, I think like $30 from Amazon. It heats your sandwich, I swear, in like four minutes. You don't have to wait around. So anyways, the paninis are so good and I'll show you guys how we make them. Today we got patio furniture. So Doug is going to be putting that up all day um, and cleaning this mess on the ground of random like Japanese things. Like what is that, Doug? What? Oh, that's a baby. Oh, that's a baby. What is that? Looks like that's Annabelle. manga. That's Annabelle as a Japanese. I don't even know what Kirby is. So the first thing we put is this Grey Poupon Mustard Country Dijon. And this is so good. And then I, we just put mayo. We put a lot of random things like on our paninis because when it's heated and melted together with cheese, it just tastes so good. So today we have mayo on the side and then Dijon on that one. And we have mushroom and onion. So for cheese, today I'm having Harris Teeter Boar's Head um, Three Pepper Colby Jack. It's spicy on its own, but in a sandwich, it's so good. I think I've said that. And Doug is having, what is this? Boar's Head Jalapeno Pepper Jack. He prefers Swiss or provolone, but we bought too much cheese, so he's getting the spicy stuff. Um, and then Annabelle just has regular provolone on hers. And for lunch meats, we're having just Boar's Head Tavern Ham, which is so good. And then after the ham, we top it off with cherry tomatoes and arugula. And then these are ciabatta rolls. Oh yeah. Annabelle has some wrap. Looks pretty good. She loves wrap. She's not she a fan does. of bread for some reason. What's that face? What's that sneaky face? And she also has cheese its to entice her. Okay. <laughs> and some cherry tomatoes because she's not really a fan, but we keep offering them to her. Sometimes she'll eat one, sometimes none. She eats wraps like a big girl. Look at that wonderful panini. I also know that I get comments Yet again, telling me what not to eat. Bah, bah. <laughs> Just for forewarning you guys, I eat smoked salmon, I eat tuna in my pregnancy, I eat lunch meat, I know. If you don't want to eat lunch meat though, you don't have to. It's lunch meat from the deli too. Yeah, but it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be warmed, which the pain in me, like nobody would get on my case for, but I eat cold lunch meat. You can scold me, it's okay. If you, if you really want to scold me, you can, but what else? I mean, I had a piece of sushi in my first trimester, but I didn't eat a lot because like that I feel like is a little sketch, but whatever. If someone eats sushi, I'm not going to tell Listen, them not to do it. If the fish is flash frozen, it kills all bacteria and worms that are in it. Yeah, but you know, everyone's going to just get on your case for that statement because you're going to be wrong about something. Whatever. <laughs> this is so random, but Doug and I went to a Goodwill in Mount Pleasant. Best Goodwill ever. I got like the most random things and oh, I am like, three days in a row. we're not going back. We three days, legit uh, have- always like, who put this three like this? Yeah, yeah you know. weirdo. For those of you guys who don't know, my mom and I used to like, you can't have this, yeah. you crazy baby. She always wants my camera. Um, my mom and I used to thrift growing up like every single Saturday and we were just obsessed with like yard sales and thrifting. I got this cute little trash can for Annabelle's room for a dollar. 
crazy. I also got these cute little plates because I'm weird and I like mismatched plates and I like old people things and if it looks like it came from your grandma, chances are I like it, I'll take it. How cute is this one though? Like I'm obsessed. Okay, anyways, I got this wicker thing. They had like a huge wall of like, actually I don't think this is wicker, but anyways, whatever this is, um, they have a huge wall of like baskets and I was gonna buy this same basket on Amazon for like, I think it was like 15 or $19, which is ridiculous. This was a dollar. Good morning guys. It's a new day. Mama, I'm Mama, swollen cause it's, Mama, what Annabelle? Mama. We just woke up like literally 10 minutes ago, but I thought, hey, you know, whatever, I'll just combine two vlogs. Doug's Mama. trying to put on his short. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, yes, and Mama. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Annabelle She's wearing good morning. her unicorn, um, her unicorn little pajamas from the children's place. First thing we do is Doug rock Annabelle, shows her the squirrels outside because there's literally, oh my God, I'm so bright. I mean, sometimes I can count 15 squirrels in our front yard, which I feel like is a bad thing. Like, don't you think that many squirrels in our front yard is a bad thing? So yeah, she was in squirrels. An omen. An omen? Mm -hmm. Why? 15 squirrels just means you're going to be harassed for the rest of your life. Oh. <laughs> and then oh, she goes home. Oh. And oh. then I open the blinds. We do the same thing every single day. Then Annabelle sits in her little perch over here. We got this little, like, janky ladybug from the Goodwill store and Doug like kind of reupholstered it. No, I haven't so. reupholstered anything yet. Oh. I, I put he cleaned it. it. Yeah, I cleaned Look, it. Look, she I loves think. it. And she just basically sits on this as her first thing of the day. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you need, Lonnie? Wawa. Oh, Wawa. She wants, she wants her Wawa. Wawa. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Doug makes his swill, as we like to call it. AKA, well that's what my parents call it. They call their coffee swill. Cause it's like not fancy. Looks like someone was up to no good last night. <laughs> I was. I was up Did to no good eat? because there's nothing, he, there's nothing left in that box. He legit chooses Cocoa Krispies over my glorious Martha Stewart cake. Like what the heck? <laughs> so the one thing I have to get is my Amazon box because it has my Nespresso pods in it. Oh, I also got a random water pick because Doug and Annabelle suck at, oh, well Doug's not the best at flossing his teeth, neither am I. Uh, what? Throw me under the bus like that. He hates it. Even though we have the picks. But I thought the water pick would even be better. I also got Sonicare toothbrushes because they like disappeared in the move. <laughs> Why are you chuckling like that? So if you guys are interested, I did a blog post on um, my most recent purchases from Amazon Prime. So I get everything, actually I don't get everything on Prime, but like most things. Um, and I'll link it down below because it's like basically all of my purchases for the month of June. And I love reading what people order on Amazon. It's like so addicting. This is on the list and it's like the Nespresso Bertuo line, which I think is our coffee pot. Or the, no, it's like, the espresso machine. Oh yeah, machine. And I get the Caramelizio. So I used to get the half calf, but this tastes better. It's full caffeine, but I don't even really drink my whole coffee cup. This morning we're making, looks like some kind of egg sandwich. Someone commented, you guys have a hearty appetite. And I was like, you're yeah, right. You're right about that. We are eating outside today and the cicadas are going buck wild. We have a random speaker there from our wedding if you're wondering what that is. Annabelle looks like she has the most glorious breakfast. She's sitting on her director's chair from Walmart, which is seriously the best buy ever. It was $12. We love Walmart. Look at how bomb this breakfast sandwich looks. Got my Nespresso with almond milk. Mm -mm. Doug, please tell the vlog fam how it is. Like, just give them a snapshot of what we're sitting in right now. It's 80 degrees. There's a lot of bugs out there. Do you hear that? what that is. And 96% humidity. 96% you guys, it's borderline unbearable to sit out here. And I don't know how it's gonna get worse, but apparently it does, like in August. I, uh, I have no idea. Which is why we're gonna be gone for an entire month. So Haley hands me the camera and says, it's your turn today. <laughs> <laughs> but we're out here, 10 a.m., just having a good time going on a walk. This is life. Life is now hanging out with her all the time, all day, every day. Having fun in there, hanging out in your nice little teal teal dress and your sparkly shoes. So it's been cool like trying to adjust. Well, not really adjust. Yeah, I guess it's been adjusting. It's been an adjustment uh, 
working for ourselves. But it's been it's been a good adjustment, and Haley's always been really big on like pushing ourselves to the edge or out of our comfort zone. Like things happen. There's some quote I forgot who it was by, and I'm probably not going to get the quote right. But like things happen in the uncomfortable. Um, that's where like progress is made. So we're definitely like learning and, and adjusting to working for ourselves, and there's a lot of growing pains and trying to figure things out. But it's been a lot of fun. Um, Annabelle certainly likes it because I get to hang out with Annabelle all the time. It's pretty funny because now that I'm literally with Annabelle all the time, Annabelle comes to me for like everything or she asks me what everything is. So that, that was a big change and Haley actually gets in pretty nice breaks sometimes. So for example, like stuff that I, that I wasn't able to do before with, you know, while I was working was like just take Annabelle places in the middle of the day or really help, help Haley out with errands, just doing things at different times. Now when we schedule stuff, people are like, oh, when are you free? And we're like, kind of whenever. So that's cool, but at the same time, we have to really hold ourselves accountable for trying to get things done. And that's been a big challenge, is trying to kind of make things for ourselves, make schedules and deadlines for ourselves, because we could easily just push them back. So one thing that I realize that happens when you work for yourself and you get to kind of create your own schedule and do all the stuff that you want to do with your kid is that you run out of things to do pretty quickly. Um, and by things to do, I don't mean like little activities and stuff that you can kind of do multiple times and over and over again. I mean like places to go, things to see, like museums or stuff like that. Dude, can you see that I'm sweating? It's like 9.15 a.m. and I'm sweating already. Um, so like we've already kind of started running out of things to do with Annabelle and places to take her. Stuff that's new that she hasn't seen before. And that kind of sucks. So we need to start getting really creative with this kind of stuff that we figure out and we need to get like activities. So if you guys have little ideas for crafts for a two year old to do or one and a half year old or things that they could actually like really get entertained with. I've been trying to figure things out. Like I made, I built her an activity board, which I'm probably way too late at, but I wanted to make it a little bit more advanced. So I put like a switch with a light and some other stuff on there to try to get her brain thinking about stuff. But if any of you guys have any ideas on like things to craft, things to build together, stuff to do together, like let me know. So that way I know so I have like some other kind of things to do with Annabelle rather than just reading to her or trying to play with her. Like I want to do some things that start kind of get her brain going. Look at, do you guys hear those cicadas? So we're about to go to Target. I just got ready for the day, even though my hair is a mess. Um, and we're going to Target because we actually have some house guests coming to stay with us this year. My parents are coming, obviously, for the birth of the baby. I'm pretty sure Doug's brother might be coming, and we do have a few other friends that are staying with us. So this is our guest room, which you guys have probably never really seen much of, um, besides like the bed. So we just have this bed in here. I'll link it below, but it's from Joss and Maine. Still get questions about our mattress. So I'm partnering with Lul to bring guys today's vlog and we still love the Lowell mattress and we actually prefer the Lowell mattress to our master bedroom mattress so we honestly might get like a king Lowell mattress um, in the next few months because it's a little bit more stiffer but like super plush oh, it just seriously feels like a dream to sleep on um, my parents actually have one what else my friend Shelby has one Annabelle also had a little mattress in her room like as her floor bed they really are amazing mattresses and we're going to Target because I want to kind of like spruce up the guest room and get like maybe some new bed linens or some new pillows or something but I do have a $50 off code if you guys want to get a little mattress of your choice so I will leave the link to where you guys can get it below along with my code um, but yeah so far we still really like it and we honestly are probably gonna purchase one for our master bedroom because because they are just that comfortable. Not to mention, if you guys are interested, I mean, we don't need this because we already know we love the company and the mattress, but they do have a 100 nights free return like guarantees. So if you sleep on it for 100 nights and decide you don't like it, you can return it. So that's nice because sometimes you buy a mattress, figure out you really don't like it or it's hurting your back. It's like such a big purchase because you can keep mattresses for years and years um, that they have that kind of opportunity for people. So I love that. And I did already show like myself unboxing the whole mattress in another video, which I will leave the link to that one below if you guys want to see like how it comes at your door and how it expands. It comes rolled up in a box and we just honestly brought the box up here, cut the plastic off of the mattress and it kind of just like expanded. So it's super easy. 
you don't have to deal with like a giant mattress at your door and like hauling that up this is what the mattress itself looks like if you guys are interested um, it has like this super plush topping on it that is like oh it's just a dream so yeah it's pretty thin like it's not like a super like high or thick mattress but we love it so you guys we've decided we're getting a minivan oh yeah it's happening minivan life minivan life for sure because honestly like I was looking at the Toyota Highlander not enough room I like the sliding doors of a minivan mm -hmm. I'm trying not to care what society thinks of me mm -hmm. this is the bottom line I really should not care what other people think of me which is literally the only reason I wasn't getting a minivan because I just thought like first off they're so ugly I still think they're ugly <laughs> but like honestly I think that's just because society kind of like conditions you to think that they're just an ugly car which yeah. I mean they are not the most attractive like as far as the shape it looks like a big old blob yeah rolling down the street but some of them look good I like the lines on some I, I just still don't think they look good yeah. but I mean who cares like I truly like the only thing we should care about is like convenience functional with two yeah. children under two yeah like functional space mm -hmm. Like, what is gonna make me less stressed we, out? We like sliding doors. <laughs> Haley saw us a minivan that was parked like in a parking space of a, park, of a normal parking lot. Yeah. And, like, there's it was a little tight. Haley says, "Look, you don't even have to swing the door open. The door slides. Door doesn't hit another so car. The door doesn't hit another car." And I was like, "Okay, you're getting a little out of hand." Here. Every time I see one, I'm like, <laughs> "Look at that beast! Like, it's so beautiful." <laughs> and this is so unlike me because. Yeah, well. Haley's all about aesthetics. I like, really am. Like, I used to be more about aesthetics, and now I'm more about, like, what can reduce my anxiety on a daily basis. <laughs> With, like, being a mom of two small children. Yeah. Minivan life. Doug's always wanted one, though. A minivan? So he, yeah, if he said, like, absolutely not, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. But he's like, let's get it, let's get it. I already it. knew that it was functional. I grew up with a minivan actually and it was so I mean, I thought it was ugly even as a child yeah. but like it was fun. You, you can it was so easy. You can have <laughs> just clapping our hands. Yeah. You can have fun at anything. You can. Yeah. It's just your mentality. So the Shouldn't minivan care what people think. It's gonna be on bags. No, it's not. Yeah, We're it not is. lowering the minivan. No, no, it's normal height when you drive it. And then to help you get in and out when you park it, it dumps. And it just sits on the ground. It's not happening. Just frame. I'd on the have ground. to draw the line somewhere. Just frame on the ground, sitting like a turtle. Like... Look at that beast right there. <laughs> you call oh, it a yeah. beast? Why do you call it a beast? Because like, they are. They're like, so look at big. That beast. We're just like trying to decide um, whether we want a Sienna or a Honda Odyssey, right? Yeah. 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 So let us know in the comments if you think whichever one's better. I want to vlog. We have test not drives. test drive. I want to do. Oh it. yeah, we're that gonna do it. Dope. We should test drive in California, actually. Oh, we should. Because my parents can watch Annabelle. Yeah, perfect. And it won't be a nightmare. <laughs> I literally just don't think two car seats will fit in this car anyways. Plus, I'm tired of driving this tiny little car. Oh, got our starry pattern, oh, which dude. is available on Amazon. It is. <laughs> <laughs> What a plug, that was pretty good. <laughs> Still got my college sticker going strong. Yeah. All the, right. the ZTA license plate frame is gone. Uh, yeah, because it was ripped off by another sorority girl. <laughs> like, why would you want a Suburban? The doors don't even slide. Hopefully that girl was not the owner of the Suburban because I was. just filmed her face. <laughs> <She was. laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to freeze it like... <laughs> Annabelle's sitting to the side, so it's like she's in the sea of stars. Oh my God. It's definitely family day at Target. <laughs> okay, let's Sunday. go. Let's be on our way. Oh, oh my god, she's, she's like, so friendly the these days. She's like, look, at <laughs> look at her, she looks Hello. like a queen. <laughs> we are trying on clothes. So this is a cute little maternity top. But not sure. Hey. We're back from Target and we're making paninis again, but I thought I'd end the vlog because this is the longest vlog ever. <laughs> Um, so, come on, Nano. I think people like long vlogs. Yeah, at least, actually, I don't know. I think they, most of them like long vlogs. Every time I vlog 10 minutes, they're like, what the heck, you know? They're like, where's my 82 hour vlog? Our life is not that interesting, but. What, Nano? Oh, she sees the frozen, um, like the ice pack things in my hack video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, and thank you to Lil for sponsoring today's vlog. Like the video if you like it. And subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you at our next one. Bye, guys. Say bye, Annabelle. She's like, goodbye and good day. <laughs>